So once again, we want to actually start a packet capture. So I'll go capture options, select my internet connected interface, my wireless network connection, and start to capture. Now what I need is some traffic. So now I'll switch over and do Google Chrome since I've been using Firefox. And again, I just go to the Udemy website will be the first one. So there's that. I go to the Ford website. I go to the Jaguar website. And finally, I go to Aston Martin. I won't go to Maserati on this example. Okay. So now I come back to my packet capture file. And I've got a couple of options. I'll do the first one is merge this whole thing. So I'll go capture, stop. Once I stop it, I want to save this capture file. So I click on file, save. And we'll call this the website traffic. And we save it. Now, all we have to do is click on file, and I want to merge. So I click on file, and I select merge. And now I just go file, find my file down here in my website traffic, and I click open. So now that I have saved it, and I've got my website traffic, I click on file, merge. And what we'll do is we'll merge it with file one. So you click on file one. And now what we've done is we've merged the file with file one. So if we scroll down here, now we have all the file one content as well as the browser content we just created. So now what we would do is save this and it creates a temporary file. So we'll just save it to our desktop here and we'll call it file one and websites merged and we save it now the one downside is we have all this ARP traffic that we said we kind of didn't really want to see all that so one way around this is as we said I can create sections of the file so what I do is I look through this and I find a section using the process that we've discussed so far and I determine what section I want to keep of the file, right? So different types of things. So I'll only go through one of these because the process is the same. Process doesn't change. Once you've used it, you get to use this same process over and over again. That's the best thing about having a network protocol analysis process. So I got a lot of different things down here, and I'll just pick one so that I can show the process. So I got this TCP communication, right? So as we've added more and more into this, now it has more data. We have more of that ARP traffic. Now, we'll use advanced techniques to help us work with this coming up. For now, we're going to find our query. There's our query of udemy.com. Once we have that, there's our three-way handshake. So what we're going to do is, taking the process we've been using so far, we right-click it, follow TCP stream. This is the actual Udemy information for that packet. So now what we do is it's a 301, but again, we're teaching the process, so we're not too worried about what's taking place here. And then we just close it, and we save this section. So now we save this section on the desktop's fine, Udemy-HTTPS. And now we have that portion of the section. So the other one we had after Udemy is we started to do the cars. And we'll do this last one and then uh, we'll continue on. So we just keep scrolling down here because remember Udemy is using HTTPS. So we're not going to be able to read the data there. We got our, all our HTTPS traffic. So we'll get past all that encrypted traffic and look for some traffic that's not encrypted. As you see, a lot of data on the network. And yours will be the same. So this is why we gave you the static packet capture files to practice with. 
As we come down here, we see Jaguar right after the DNS query. We got the DNS response, and there's the three-way handshake for TCP. Using our methodology, we right-click it, and we follow TCP stream. And now we got the information that the Jaguar. So now to keep the Jaguar information, we just go File, Save As, and now we just name the file Jaguar. And if you noticed, Akamai Ghost is responding. So I'll show you that now. So if we look here, there we have the actual blue, the Jaguar web server saying Akamai Ghost. So it's being forwarded from Akamai Ghost. If we come down here, you can see it's really an Apache Coyote 1.1 web server. Again, as we build our skill sets and we learn more of how to do this and practice our process and methodology, this will become very easy to do. So next up, we will continue with the methods of using Wireshark for analysis of network traffic. Now we're going to get into exploring the powerful concepts of filtering within the tool. As you've noticed, I've used the old school way of scrolling up and down looking through the packets. We will teach you a much more proficient and powerful way coming up soon.